praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this memorial of St. Catherine of Bologna and her entry in the Mo Roman Martyrology says, At Bologna in the region of Emilia Romagna, St. Catherine, a virgin of the order of St. Clare, who renowned for her natural talents, but more illustrious for her mystical virtues and her way of penance and humility, became the leader of many sacred virgins. St. Catherine was born in, on September 8, 1413, that's the same date as Our Lady's birthday, in that region of northern Italy. And the entry talks about her natural talents. She was, in fact, filled with many natural talents. She knew foreign languages, including Latin. She was a great artist, a painter, and in fact, she is the patron saint of artists. She was also a musician. She played the viola. She was very well read, especially in the works of the fathers of the church, and she herself was a writer, her most famous work being the Seven Spiritual Weapons. And there's a lot of talk today about spiritual battle and spiritual warfare, and so that uh, is a good work to read, the Seven Spiritual Weapons, uh, in which she talks about her own spiritual warfare that she underwent, and she writes down all of the insights that she has from that, in order to instruct her fellow nuns. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, in his Wednesday audience uh, spoke about her and he said, in her writings, Catherine has left us a few essential notes concerning this mysterious battle from which, with God's grace, she emerged victorious. She did so in order to instruct her sisters and those who intend to set out on the path of perfection. Now, who are those who intend to set out on the path of perfection? Well, that should be every Christian, right? Because Christ has called all of us to strive after Christian perfection. Uh, you must therefore be perfect even as your heavenly Father is perfect. So, in virtue of our baptism, our incorporation into Christ as followers of Christ, we are all obliged to strive for Christian perfection. She wanted to put them on their guard against the temptations of the devil, who often conceals himself behind deceptive guises, later to sow doubts about faith, vocational uncertainty, and sensuality. Right? So if you're experiencing these type of things, temptations to sensuality, vocational uncertainty, doubts against the faith. This is what she's talking about. So that is the seven spiritual weapons. So that kind of leads us into uh, her mystical virtues because she's more illustrious for her mystical virtues. She required very little sleep at night and spent that time in prayer. She also displayed heroic patience in dealing with her sickness, which she basically experienced throughout her life, and also the temptations that she underwent. Again, Benedict XVI relates, her trials, her inner suffering, and especially the temptations of the devil were great and terrible. She passed through a profound spiritual crisis and came to the brink of despair. She lived in the night of the spirit and was also deeply shaken by the temptation of disbelief of our Lord's real presence in the Eucharist. After so much suffering, the Lord comforted her. He gave her in a vision a clear awareness of the real presence in the Eucharist an awareness so dazzling that Catherine was unable to express it in words. And finally, in 1431, she had a vision of the Last Judgment. The terrifying spectacle of the damned impelled her to redouble her prayers and penance for the salvation of sinners. 
The devil continued to assail her, and she entrusted herself ever more totally to the Lord and to the Virgin Mary. She died on March 9, 1463, at the age of 49, after having persevered in the life of grace, in the love of God, and neighbor, being faithful to her rule and her religious life. To this day, her body remains incorrupt in Bologna, and you can visit it and see it or find pictures online. And there have been other saints who have visited her body and have left their signature there at the convent, uh, namely St. Charles Borromeo, St. John Bosco, and St. Therese of the Child Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.